Essendon by two points in a thriller under lights at the MCG on Saturday. And then on Sunday, history was made. The Crows defeated Hawthorne by 15 points. They fell behind, they came again. It was an outstanding performance. A bigger crowd than last week here at Waverley. I'd suggest at the present time about 45,000. Looking back to last Sunday, Max Stevens takes a look at the aftermath of that great game on Sunday for the Crows. 4,000 screaming fans crammed into the Adelaide airport last Sunday for the return of the Crows after they eliminated Hawthorne. The welcome even rivaled the Beatles when they made an appearance in the 60s 30 years ago at the same venue. We had expected a, a few, but uh, the pilot confirmed that while we were up in the air and then the police got on the plane and told us it was just chock-a-block and uh, just to be careful, but uh, no, the reception was fantastic. Wayne Wiedemann is without question the Crows cult hero. Once upon a time, it was only at football park. You would hear the catch cry, we, but now it's heard at most venues he stalks. And by golly, he can hear it. It's pretty hard not to, mate. It's pretty loud and, um, you know, it's just, sometimes it's very embarrassing. I, I get a bit embarrassed by it all, but no, it's fantastic support and, uh, you know, you couldn't, couldn't want anything more. This week, Adelaide trained Monday and Tuesday, a rest day midweek, and then their final session was Thursday before jetting across to Melbourne yesterday afternoon. Carlton is a side the Crows respect, but let's not forget, a berth in the finals is up for grabs today. We've got an exceptionally good back line and exceptionally good centre line as well. So, you know, they've got their worries on us as well. But uh, it'll be uh, uh, the best of the midfielders, I think, that'll, that'll win the game. We realised after beating Collingwood and making the finals that that wasn't the end of the road. It was just the beginning. And uh, now after beating Hawthorne again, it's just one step in, you know, I guess a three-step uh, ladder to uh, what the ultimate goal is at the end of the season. And the boys realise that, you know, one win like that doesn't, make a season or doesn't make a career there are still a couple, of, a couple of more important steps to take so finally the crows there home by 15 points expectations very high now in the city of churches the city of the crows they've got their supporters here this afternoon they're probably 40 to 45 thousand at the moment plenty of support for the crows just a bit longer drive look at that it's built up nicely, as we say a very good afternoon to Drew Morfitt and Bernie Quinlan. Gentlemen. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Dennis, and it should be a great day. You're going to laugh at this, but I reckon the crowd last week helped the Crows over the line. Because when they kick goals, they, there was a reaction. Yeah, and they haven't had that all year. There's and no doubt about that, they'll get it And today especially today, they'll get it again 